up first this evening. We don't know the reason. The statement from Government Minister Daryl Vaz and Opposition MP Philip Powell, who both confirmed their U.S. visas were revoked recently. Mr. Vaz, who spoke with our news center about the matter earlier today, had initially indicated he would resign if his application was turned down, but he backtracked later. As for Mr. Powell, he says the revocation came as a surprise. To some, a United States visa is a prized possession. The U.S. seen as a gateway for travel, work and education opportunities and frolic. But in the blink of an eye, it can be revoked. U.S. Immigration Services Online notes that U.S. consular officials have broad discretion to revoke non-immigrant visas at any time. As has happened in the case of Minister Without Portfolio in the office of the Prime Minister Daryl Vaz and opposition spokesman on energy Philip Paulwell. Mr. Paulwell is currently in Cuba on business. He responded via WhatsApp confirming the revocation, stating that the embassy did not provide any reasons. He was also advised to reapply for a visa if he intended to travel to the United States. Here's what Mr. Vaz was told by way of letter. Based on on information received after the issuance of a visa to me, information has come to light that may make me ineligible for a U.S. visa. The fact that they said I may be ineligible, that is where I need to go now to find out what would make me not, ineli not eligible, which is what I'm pursuing. On RGR 94's hotline program with Emily Shields Friday, he gave further details about the type of visa. As a, as a minister, you have, you have a diplomatic visa. And I heard that you, when I gave up my citizenship, obviously, then I got the regular, what was it, A1? B1. B1. I don't even know what it is. B1, B2. Mr. Vaz says he last traveled to the United States last month. You will recall that I traveled to the UN General Assembly, which requires a special U.S. visa, which was granted to me on the 20th of September when I traveled as part of the, the Jamaica delegation to the United Nations General Assembly. So this revocation is a matter of a few days um, in October. I, re I received this. I'm, I'm, I'm shocked. I'm surprised. I did not uh, see it coming. I'm unaware of any reason why. Uh, this would have happened, but again, there's a process to follow. Now, Mr. Paulwell says when he returns to Jamaica next week, he will be in touch with the United States Embassy to seek further clarity on the visa revocation and use the necessary channels to seek redress. For Mr. Vaz, if the matter isn't resolved, he's not ruling out stepping down as a member of the cabinet. At least that's what he told Mrs. Shields on Hotline. So you would consider resigning? Absolutely. He was, however, a little more measured in his response in our TV interview. Once there is an issue that says that I may be ineligible, any action by me would be premature. That does not stand to say that if this thing progresses and at some future point I am not able to get a U.S. visa, that, that would not have to be a consideration. But I would like to pass this and get to that point. But Meanwhile, U.S. immigration laws outline three primary situations when a visa can be revoked. The first, if the holder of a non-immigrant visa does not meet the criteria for the visa category, if that person is ineligible, usually involving law enforcement, is suspected, and if the holder is inadmissible to the United States on security, criminal, medical, financial, or other grounds.